<laughs> talking to the camera. <laughs> Saying, you're on the DVD. <laughs> Okay, yes, you're a great crowd, you've been selected to the DVD weather. I don't think we're going to make a DVD of the course. Um, <laughs> and feed it to you. We could make the best of. Uh, we could do a DVD <laughs> of the best of. The best of serious games. And, you know, ship it to your parents. <laughs> <laughs> Selected quotes from the lecturer. Um, yeah, that could be embarrassing. Um, taken out of context, some of the stuff I say um, might be inappropriate. But... Um, Okay, so if we have a um, Costas, do you want to start with your one, and I'll grab up the other one. So you've got so introduce the paper, and I'll grab up the questions. Mm -hmm. I don't have the questions. Uh, no, you don't. I do. Okay. Uh, about this paper, uh, first of all, my personal opinion. It's that to me it wasn't so clear. Some elements of this paper wasn't weren't so clear. So this is a paper about uh, an interactive therapy system, as they call it, for uh, autistic children. Uh, at first, you know, have the introduction. The authors, of course, uh, give a definition of ASD. That's important. Yeah. About the paper. And then they go into statistics, saying that it's an important issue of autism and uh, ASD. Do you guys know, like, you understand autism spectrum disorder? I assume you've all heard of it. Oh, and if you want, you can have access to... I, I have an annotated version of the paper. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to look it up? Okay. Yeah, that's right down. It's a bit.ly uh, F-A-S-D. Okay, it's a bit me. So, if you, if you have a look. So, you know, I, I mentioned Crocodoc last week. Um, Crocodoc is a way of doing annotation. Um, I will bring it up here. Um, I'll bring up the bit.ly here. Um, and we can throw it up on that screen. I'll just grab the data computing table and bring it up. Um, and um, I'll give Marcus the link so he can have a look at it as well. So we go to chatting there and give him a... Um, I'll, I'll write it down for my first one. That's this. And then ASD. Okay. Yep. Yep, it has the annotation. Okay, so I'll just give that to Marcus. We've got it there. Um, did you guys get that? Ah, um, okay, so I'll show you I'll show you how to um, grab. What do we want on the data? Well, the data project is going to sit on your head, so um, maybe if we go to the, to this one, it'll be easier to spot. Okay, so Crocodoc um, is actually quite useful um, for, for Marcus, for example. Um, he can now see this Crocodoc document. Um, and uh, you can see over here we have uh, annotations over this, this right hand side. Um, and I can go, I can go and look at an annotation. And so here, um, what Costas has done is he's gone through and he's highlighted and commented on the paper, kind of on a PDF version of the paper. Right? So what's nice about Crocodoc is in here, I can also go in and say, okay, well, um, abject, um, uh, do they mention Asperger's anyway? I don't think they did. I, no, because nope. even though this was before Asperger's disappeared, Asperger's has disappeared as a diagnosis. Right? Just so you know, um, you're, not, you're not supposed to refer to anyone as having Asperger's anymore because the American, they have removed it as a diagnosis, you were all autism spectrum disorder. Right? So it's been removed as a category because there was no distinction between autism spectrum disorder. So um, autism spectrum disorder, I can go in here and I can do things like, uh, where is my uh, tools? Where is my tools? Should I can right click on it? 
Where is my tool? Oh, stop my. Mm, ah, I'm not logged in. So if I sign in, uh, let's sign in. Let's sign up. I need to log in. Okay. And I need to find my username. I think I know one. Sign in. Okay. Let me try the. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, I was you know, username. It might be that that's my username. Um, or it could be that I'm. I would prefer them just to use my actual like. Email address is my email. Ah. Okay, I won't comment. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, but if I log in, um, I'll have to go and find my login again. Um, take me back to my username. Um, I can then edit. You've got. You can show your screen and your ability to edit and scan. Yes, just there. You can find the bolted. Um, so you guys can create a free account, uh, and then this allows you to edit live. Now, Marish, have you logged in? No, nope. you not logged in. Have any of you created an account? I mean, I, I, yeah, yeah, I have an account. I, I'm not just logged in now. Right. Yeah. Um, but I can log in. I will try one more. Forgot password. Because we've used it last year. Yeah. wasn't that one. Um, so as you can see, this is, and you guys can also comment on this um, paper in real time. Share, if you set that to share correctly. Um, um, and Do you guys use Bitly much or yeah, yeah, it's, um, which one do you use? Do you not have one that you use? the Google short run one. Right, you did Google. Yeah, what is it? Google L something like that. Yeah, Google L and Bitly. Um yeah, so this is a collaborative markup tool um, which allows you to to edit two. Yeah. Well that's the choice. And that, that would allow you guys to to edit the the box. Okay. It says it's gonna send me a password in there. Um okay, so um, yeah, no, so continue with it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So the, the paper starts with the introduction. We have the definition of uh, autistic spectrum disorders. And then we have um, local statistics. Trying to prove that it's uh, significant this year to date. And uh, then for some reason we have the, a part saying that early diagnosis is important. Someone would expect that. This is because you, I think the, the author would like to, to justify the fact that there should be a preventative uh, intervention. But then again, we go into the the, the general 
overview of uh, the area and they state uh, the problems that uh, the current care model of uh, AAC presents. And uh, then in the end of the introduction, of course, they, they mentioned why their research, why research, further research in this uh, field is necessary. And that's, my opinion is that it's too generic. I mean, saying that uh, research is necessary to baby methods for the development of very public product services and systems for children with KAC. That's okay, that's fine. That counts natural. <laughs> But uh, and then they say that they're going to, what, what they're going to, to, to discuss. And that's an uh, interactive design for children with autism. And what is the, the goal of this uh, study? Which is to, to explore all the current interactive design methods, find the most effective one somehow, and uh, then apply it. So we have a pretty straightforward introduction. We have a, a definition of the, of the field of, of, of the disorder, and we have statistics, why it's important for something to be done in this area, and what is the study about, and what's the goal of the study. So that's pretty much the structure of any paper introduction. Then we're going into the background uh, section of the paper. So we have a lot of information here about uh, what's been done on the field. Uh, first, they start with the theories uh, for uh, autistic children, the, the therapy theory. Uh, they say that, that the early methodologies don't work anymore, or at least uh, it's uh, difficult to be implemented because of the, the, there is a lack of therapies and there are cost uh, demanding and time consuming. And uh, then they mention uh, a new uh, therapy called uh, SIT, which means uh, sensory integration therapy. And uh, they are going further on, they're going to implement this theory into their own interactive system. Uh, they also mention another theory the called theory of mind, uh, which has to do with uh, the social difficulties that are present in people with uh, autism. Uh, after mentioning the therapies, they're going into the related studies and uh, especially the, the technologies used in ASD research. Uh, firstly, they mentioned the uh, virtual reality study about virtual reality uh, and role playing uh, in, in role playing situations. And then they mentioned the study about collaborative augmented reality in education, which if you check the reference is, is not an ASD specific study, it's a generic study about collaborative AR in education, just like that. For some reason they mentioned it here. And uh, then they, they talk about games and that their gaming approaches uh, add motivation to the system. And then they're going into simulations and video conference. Uh, then they're, they're going into the methods, which are the methods that they're going to use. Uh, and uh, they are uh, talking about uh, collaborative research with rap rapid prototype, virtual reality again, information technology, uh, tangent interaction, and scenario-based design. Uh, for this study, they mentioned, uh, for all these uh, methods, they mentioned the references, and everything. And then we are going into, uh, I think that's the most interesting part of the study, the, the observation part, before going into the development phase, they are going, the, the, the authors visit a hospital, children's hospital, in order to observe the target group, the, the players, and to actually witness the problems and uh, everything that, that, that's necessary for the development stage. 
So we have the, the observation of the target group prior to the development stage. And uh, they run a, a therapy, a one-to-one -one therapy, and uh, some group clinics, 54 people uh, in the hospital. And uh, they identified uh, the features uh, of uh, therapy from the observation. So they have some results about how to implement them in their fellow system. Uh, all the therapy program have a common purpose, which is uh, to learn about communication with other people. All therapy programs need uh, naturalness, a sense of stability and enjoyment. And uh, that normal people feel reality through familiar interactions that come from previous experience. Then they reach a conclusion that uh, an interactive therapy system should perform the substance of established therapy programs and apply the interaction technology aggressively. They go into the requirement of the system that, that they are going to develop and that's that this system should include a supportive therapy, an economical system structure, ease of maintenance and management, generation of various interactions, and effectiveness for repetitive therapy sessions. And then they are mentioning the, the, the advantages and what they are going to, to get out of uh, a system like that. And that's, uh, that this system is going to be cost effective, uh, it's going to save a lot of time, work well for limited spaces, enable the development of a uh, high quality interaction system, system that pursues effective therapy. So, Based on, on, on theory and observations, the authors found, found out which are the key elements of the new system, which would be the, the key elements. So right now we're going into the development uh, phase. And actually, it's the description of the system. So they, the architecture of the system that they developed uh, as three components, coordination ability measurement, social skill training, and uh, SIP. Uh, the system is, uh, consists of a PC, a projector, a screen, and uh, in mean for uh, the reflector, a digital camera, and touchable devices. Uh, the participants can see the results on the screen, and the Game space. The interaction space is uh, it's actually blocked. It's actually defined with a partition board so that children feel more comfortable and concentrate on the screen. So that's the architecture. And then they're going into the what we could call the mini games, but they're calling them programs. So it's actually eight scenarios that address three functions. And those three functions are uh, visual motor coordination ability, and, uh, social skills training, and uh, sensory integration therapy. And then it has eight scenarios. Some of them have, have uh, game elements. Uh, the first, uh, the first one, the the one that addresses visual motor coordination ability assessment is about breaking virtual balloons with a real stick and reforms, reinforcements are provided for success. Then we have uh, five, I think, uh, programs for social skills training and uh, they were designed to look like games. Uh, whatever, that means. whether they are games or not, or whatever that means, look like games, but in game. But they have skills. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, did you guys? I said when you look at the screenshots, do they look like a game you want to play? No, no, <laughs> not not really at all. And this is kind of for me. It's the someone who sees kids playing games, has heard about games, and decides that they're going to make one. So they look like, okay. So what a game set? Well, you know, got an F. Uh, kind of thing, and of course, uh, we'll do that. That'll be a game. 
done. It looks like a game. Yeah, maybe. I mean, but is it actually? It looks like a 92, 93 paper. 92, 93 paper. It's not. <laughs> it's not, yeah. And I was surprised that it was in 2010. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Do they use this in the application? No, no, no. no, they no, 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 no. They now they would. They use the same games for that in this paper. So, so if, if you control the uh, games, you find four inches. Yeah, and then, and then after yeah, two of them are like, you know, they were just talking and yep. yeah. So, this is what you get when, in, in, in serious games, you get people who are focused on their thing that they do, and then they've just added game as kind of, you know, a garnish, something you sprinkle over the top. Reminds me of the whole gamification thing that was like two years ago when everything was gamified. Yes, yep, yep. Now there was this 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 burst of gamification. It's right at the peak of the you know the 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 Gardner hype cycle. You guys know that one? No. Okay, that you need. We need to look at that. Um, actually, I'm gonna steal that for you for a moment. Um, the Gartner hype cycle. This is something you should all know about in terms of technology. Um, G or Gartner. Says G. Yeah. Cycle. Um. So 